Hi there, meteorologist Eric Fisher. The wind, the story today, just howling outside, especially earlier on this morning and last night. That's where we saw quite a bit of tree damage across the area, gusting 40 to 50. A few gusts recorded at over 50 miles per hour. So there you see the tree damage reports from eastern Massachusetts, stretching back across western New England and New York State. It has stayed blustery all day long. The winds are not as strong, but still some gusts over 30. And gradually we'll see those winds come down overnight tonight. It'll be very blustery till midnight. Then after midnight, we'll see the wind gusts decrease by tomorrow morning, much less wind to deal with to kick off our Friday. It'll be cold though. Tonight's lows 20 to 26 in the suburbs, about 28 in downtown Boston. With that wind, wind chill values will be in the teens. And then tomorrow morning, we'll start off with a chance of sunshine. Then the clouds are going to roll in, and a clipper is going to bring a chance for a mixture of snow and some rain to move in across the area. This will be arriving by late morning. And then for the midday and afternoon, just raw outside, temps in the 30s and 40s. Not a lot of accumulation with this, but in any moderate snow, there could be some briefly poor visibility. Our high temps will be toward the evening as we jump up into the 40s, and there'll still be some scattered rain as we head into Friday night. So our high temps generally lower to middle, even a couple of upper 40s toward the south coast. Your coldest temperatures tomorrow will be across northern Massachusetts and New Hampshire. In terms of snow, mostly on the grass, we're talking a coating to an inch or two, and so no real impact on travel during the day tomorrow. Then that front moves offshore on Saturday morning. We could see still a little bit of lingering rain or wet snow on Saturday morning, but the trend has been for this to push a little farther to the south. That gives us a drier looking Saturday across the area and a dry Sunday as well. So it looks chilly. Still a chance for some wet snow along the south coast and the Cape, mixing with some raindrops on Saturday. Temps will be in the low 40s. Farther north and west you go, the brighter the sun will be. Then on Sunday, a mix of sun and clouds and a high near 44. So it looks like we'll get both of those Red Sox games in this weekend. Just more chilly weather with temps in the 40s for both. Days. Here's the full seven day outlook. Next week starts with 40s on Monday and dry weather. Looks like a coastal storm will be nearby on Tuesday. That could bring a mix of rain and snow and then a chance for some milder air to try to punch its way up into New England by the end of next week.